Hey, my dear NEET 2025 aspirants, I know you are eagerly waiting and anxiously waiting every second. When will the NEET result be out? What will be the cutoff? And uh, will I get through this year? Shall I have to take a drop or go abroad? Don't worry, I'll calm you down and I will also give you some great news and also a warning to some really suspicious things which are going around. See, there were some genuine concerns raised by certain students that is understood, let's say in MP. And right now, the court has clearly, uh, you know, ordered the Madhya Pradesh court that the results can be announced except for those few students. They are hardly some 70, 80 students for them. Maybe they might give grace marks or they might probably conduct a re-exam, which is also very doubtful only for those students. But the results for the rest of the country they have clearly stated that green signal for NTA, please declare the results. So, 100% because of this, no delay will happen. Uh, some other states, some other electricity issues happened. Uh, uh, court has clearly told, see, there was daylight. You could have seen the paper. So, there is no need to unnecessarily cause panic. What is suspicious is that this particular article, which I told yesterday also, that the timing is not right. Why suddenly after one month, the parents and the students realized, hey, my order was not right. What were you doing all these days? Or did the reporting only take time? See, if you are waiting for one month, then I feel sometimes, you know, some people might have seen the provisional key. They would have understood, oh, my results are not great. They would have tried to find some loophole somewhere here and there and unnecessarily create some confusion trying these delay tactics so that the result gets delayed for everyone. So, the timing looks very suspicious. Why? After one month, you are coming and telling about the order of the paper is not correct. What were you doing for the last 30 days is the real question. So, you know, sometimes unnecessarily blaming is not right. Yesterday also I told the same thing. See, if it is genuine, we understand. But if it is with a suspicious activity, with some wrong ill intent, then why should the rest of the India suffer? All of us are waiting every second. You know, we are not able to sleep. We are not able to eat. Students are tense. What should I tell to my parents? What should I do now? I don't know. Very limited time. Whether I should take a drop, whether the cutoffs will decrease, everything. So, this result should come as soon as possible. Don't you think so, so my dear students? Another thing is that, See, as of now, the final answer key is not yet out. Provisional key is out. Only after final key, the result will come. Now, there is one very interesting thing which I have seen. Especially when now there is a weekend coming. Government offices are usually shut on weekend. So, they will most likely try to declare the result Friday only. Very rare cases Saturday. So, expect the result by 13th or 14th. And that too, few hours before they will declare the final key, maybe maximum one day, two days, not more than that. And they will immediately declare the result. They won't leave too much of gap between the final key and the result because more the delay, more confusion, more attacks, again, some complaints, NTA does not want that nonsense. I think they will just declare the final key result and they will go chill on the weekend and they will leave us under tension. Okay. Having said that, something good news. See guys, I am giving you the expected cutoff based on the analysis of not just Vedantu students, but also across all India. We have so many students connected with us, whether it is through YouTube or whether we know people and we know what, you know, students are expecting everywhere. So, based on this analysis, the general cutoff for, you know, all India level for getting a government seat, right? Be it GMC, AMC, AFMC, JIPMER, whatever. So, all of them combined together. You can see the general cutoff will be somewhere between, you know, 510 to 550. So, doubtful if it will be above 550, but the chances are it will be somewhere near 530 marks. Okay. This is very interesting. It has drastically reduced from the 600s range to 530 from last year. OBC around 520, SC around 460, ST around 400, depending on your category, plus minus 20 marks here and there. Interesting thing is we checked many places, everything. We inquired with many teachers. We also talked to many founders and everything. And nowhere we were able to see, 
you know, students is getting more than 675 plus minus 15. This is as per the students calculation, what the students are claiming. See, understand the actual score might be very different. Also, there could be a surprise student where that student has not spoken only about his or her marks. So, that we don't know. As per the general knowledge which is going around in the coaching circles, I am telling you the topper marks will be in the range of 660 to 690 in this range. It's not even going to be above 700. In fact, very few students are there above 600. Let me tell you that also. If you are above 600 marks, you are in the top ranks. And please show this video to your friends and family, mom and dad also, because they might be scolding you, hey, you are not getting 600, what will you do? Please show them. Shreyas sir is only telling. See, topper only is getting this marks. Okay. And if you, uh, you know, like this information, please smash the like button. So what should you do henceforward? Please wait for the rank very patiently because rank is more important than your score. Right. And there will be multiple ranks which will be important. Your all India rank, state rank and category rank. Most of the times your category and state rank will matter because you will be aiming for your state government colleges or maybe you are using your category benefits. Also, please don't watch many videos now and create more panic and confusion. See, the results will come now in the weekend. Maximum because of those students, they might just get some grace marks in MP and very rare chance they will have a read need. NTA does not want again to conduct an exam and again delay the counselling because everything gets affected then. So, counselling has to start and no such news has come whether counselling will be delayed. So, counselling is not delayed means the results will come very soon. Okay. So, final key is the main thing. After final key only everything will come and smash that like button if you want a good result. Okay. So, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, that is the day and we'll be here on the result day showcasing not just our results but also talking about what is the plan ahead, be it counselling, be it going abroad, be it taking a drop, be it taking a partial drop and please don't do anything stupid and Trust me, the cutoffs are going to go very, very low. So, rest assured your ranks will be good. Okay. Even if, if you are above 550, no, stay, stay peaceful. I mean, you are getting a government college. If you are above 550, 560 marks, don't worry at all. Okay. 600 above, very few students. I hope you love this news. Smash that like button and don't fall to any rumors. Bye-bye. Take care. This was your Captain Shreyas.